Hello, discrete math fans. Let's talk about possibility trees and the multiplication rule. Let's say we have a ping pong tournament. Two players, Alice and Bob, are going to play a series of games. The winner is the person who either wins two straight games or who wins three games total. How many different ways are there to play out the tournament? What we're going to show is a possibility tree that shows all the different paths through the tournament. All right, so here's our possibility tree. Now remember that if you win two games in a row, you win the tournament. So here, for instance, we can start and A wins a game and then A wins another game. That's it. That's the end of the tournament. Or we could start and B wins a game and then A wins two in a row. Then it's over. So if at any point one of the players wins two straight games, the tournament is over and that player wins. If not, then whoever wins three games total wins. So here's one path through there. We could go A, B, A, B, A. Nobody ever won two straight games, but at the end, player A won three games total, and so they win the tournament. All right, so this shows all the different paths through the tournament. So there are ten possible paths from the start to the end of the tournament. And here we've listed them all. A, 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 B, A, A, and so on. It's difficult to count these out without listing what we've shown as a possibility tree to show all the different options. Okay, that's all for now.